there are the beach people who go out they're like i'm gonna go surf and jump in the water and be all like water sports woo that kind of thing um and i'm not one of those and then there's like the beach people who like lay in, lay on the sand on their blanket and they're like i'm just gonna roast my body and drink this cool beverage i'm not one of those definitely not <laughs> <laughs> and then and then there's the people who kind of like walk along the water let the water like the waves kind of like brush against their feet and like look for seashells and i'm one of those getting home and settling in putting on my virtual skin Beach paradise is like not my thing, personally. I don't really see a beach paradise as like where I want to go. I don't like the the hot sun and the sweatiness and the salt in the air. And it's like, eh, there's just nothing to do there. There's nothing there. This is me. me doing a hula dance, but I can't do it fully. I want to get the arms. <laughs> I want to get ingrained in a culture. And you know where you could find culture? Sure as hell not on a beach. You could find it in a city, like this one. When you do the same thing every day, your whole life, and maybe you're like, oh, I'm working towards retirement, however many years I have left until I retire, you generally get a taste of that because you're working every day, working, working, working. And so a vacation is kind of like a mini taste of retirement. And so it's, it reminds you what it is exactly that you're working for in the end. So you got to, yeah, you got, you got to take them. They're very important. My dream vacation would be something involving an ocean voyage, something uh, preferably going to the equator. I, I would like to visit the Caribbean. I would like to see all these different island places I've never been before, and I want to be on the water. I was landlocked for most of my life, and I just love, love, love the ocean. The two places I'd want to go to the most, my ideal vacation spots would be Tokyo, Japan. I would love to go to like Akihabara with all the, you know, electronics and stuff and like spend like a month just going through all the different little shops and stuff. I would love mm -hmm. to do that. And then also Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars theme park in Florida. That's That was that's number what two I was now. about to say also, yeah. yeah. Snow is something I rarely ever experienced. I'm talking like five, ten years will pass before I see snow. And even when I do see snow, it's usually like, hey, there's a, a centimeter pile over there. Here's a, here's a, an inch or two right here that's somehow amassed. But for the most part, it's just ice or, you know, nothing at all. So I'd want to go somewhere like, like a scenery like this where there's snow-capped mountains and forests with snow and and, you know, you can hear the crunch under your feet, maybe even have to wade through it up to your knees or your hips or whatever, you know, whatever extremes you may be looking for. So snow would definitely be something that I'd want to do. There's something to be said for exploring the town or the place that you live. Um, I Like, uh, I moved a couple years ago, and it turns out that there's, like, this tiny little island nearby where I am that you can walk to from a bridge. And there's like this tiny little forest and they have rocks on this little island that are like, they got impacted by the ice age in this really cool way. And they have like these spheres kind of carved into them, like just scooped out by like a melon baller or ice cream scoop kind of thing. And that's like right in the town that I'm in. I don't have to go anywhere and I can have a little outside adventure. And sometimes you'd be surprised at what your, uh, what your local area has to offer. So I, would, I wouldn't say it was a kidnapping, but I was just snatched up by two older women in Thailand because I was so cute. It was, I, I don't remember it, but my parents remember it. It was, it was really funny because, you know, that's how they react. That's how they react when they see, like, um, babies. It's, it's interesting to think about that because nobody in America would have done that. Nobody in America would have done that. 
So yeah, I went to France. Okay, we were on a big thing where we were going all across these European countries. We went to London, France, Spain. Uh, blah, 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 I forgot where else we went. Uh, we went to some islands. We went to the British Virgin Islands. Uh, it was really cool. But we went to France. Um, out of that whole trip, and we we went on a tour, and there was this tour guide, and who, by the way, was great. <laughs> Uh, his name was my dad's name, so it was funny. Um, but he showed us this little uh, hot chocolate shop. It was, and we, we were, I was like, well, I, I mean, I guess we could grab something. You know, it's a tour group. I mean, I guess we should have some of the food in France. And then we went there, and it was like, oh, my God. It was so, so good. It was the best hot chocolate I had ever had. Vacations at home can be kind of like whatever you want them to be. The the thing that changes is uh, you, you're not allowed to work. Sometimes you're not even allowed to go on the internet. It depends on like what you want out of it. Kind of you get to shape your own experience. If you don't want to cook, that's fine. If you were on a vacation, you wouldn't be cooking anyways, right? Like if you were off in Disneyland, you'd be eating giant like turkey legs and creepy. I don't know what food they serve there. Mice. I don't. I don't Maybe they serve mice. That'd be awesome. Um. <laughs> I don't know. If I had to take a vacation, chances are it would probably be for a purpose. Um, I'm a sim racer, so I would like to go to California to see the racetrack. It's called Laguna Seca. Also, in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, there's Road America. And these are all racetracks I actually race on in my simulator. But otherwise, like as far as going on a trip, just for the sake of going on a trip, like to, to go see um, something like uh, um, uh, the, the Roman Colosseum, I got no use for that. To go see the Eiffel Tower, I got no use for that. As, you know, to go see the Empire State Building, I got, yeah, whatever, it's another building. We went to like the Gran Canary Islands, like vacation islands they have out of Spain, I think it is. Um, and I just vividly remember walking down those streets. It's so nice. Like, there's shops and restaurants, and on the one side to the other side, just like a beautiful beach with sunset and stuff. And I just vividly remember, like, going around looking for a Game Boy Color, because my, my grandfather wanted to buy me one. We went to a real pizza place in New York. We visited one another, met up in New York City. We're from two different uh, states. We're from two different states that are really far apart. Uh, yeah, and, and we so we met up, up in New York. Over. Yeah, we met up. And it was, great. was great. And we at the end of it, at the end of it, we had pizza at a real like New York City pizza place and it had like authentic New York pizza. I got like sausage pizza. It was delicious. It was some of the best I've ever had. I even had a real like actual authentic cannoli. It's delicious. Oh, cannoli was good. Oh, yeah, it was good. It was good. <laughs> there was a popular thing my family did uh, about once a year. We'd go down to Nags Head in North Carolina. We'd get a shack, like, right on the beach and just just walk out to the beach every day. Go. A fun thing we did at, at every beach along the East Coast is play some mini golf or something like that. You know, uh, I don't know. I am me, and... I can't see changing by going to another location and then coming home and feeling like I'm a changed person. I'm not religious, so any of that kind of stuff, going to the Vatican and all that, wouldn't do a darn thing for me. Um, you know, where some people will go there and they come home and they'll, oh my God, blah, 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 you know, and I feel like a changed person. and uh, Yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, you do you, I'll do me. <laughs> I was just gonna say, did you know that they have something like over a hundred different flavors of Kit Kat bar in Japan? They have tons of flavors. So many Kit Kat bar flavors. You had like a, like a, um, a fudge brownie and the inside was, oh no, a lava cake. And you, you know, it's, it's that as a drink. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. 